Today we're getting into the latest Tesla news, including lots of new features coming to the new Model Y, updates on Tesla's future battery packs, the wider release of the full self-driving beta, and more. So let's get into it, and a special thanks to Truebill for sponsoring this video. First up today, at the same time that Tesla announced that they are officially moving their headquarters to Austin, Texas, Tesla has already begun expanding their presence in California. As we know, Elon Musk said that Tesla plans to expand in California, expanding their Fremont factory and even building up a brand new 40 gigawatt hour battery factory in California as well. At Tesla's shareholder meeting, he said, quote, we are continuing to expand our presence in California. We are not leaving California, but we are hitting the sides of the bowl. So while we know about factory expansion and that new battery factory, we also just learned that Tesla is taking over a big part of HP's campus in Palo Alto. Quote, the company has just completed an office expansion in its hometown for additional 325,000 square feet, according to sources with knowledge of the leasing market in Palo Alto. The electric vehicle and energy company will be leasing the space at 1501 Page Mill Road from Hewlett Packard, in a building that once served as the global headquarters for the technology giant. The location is just a few minutes away from Tesla's existing offices, where their current headquarters are, and it's reported to be a 10-year lease. Tesla is taking over around half of HP's campus, and quote, Tesla's new 325,000 square foot office space represents roughly 10% of the entire market available in Palo Alto. This confirms everything Elon was talking about with their move to Texas. Here we can see that Tesla is indeed expanding their presence in California, but their expansion is already using up tons of the available market in Palo Alto near their current headquarters. Tesla has a lot of room to expand and has already added tons of jobs this year. According to a new report, Tesla has already created as many as 5,000 new jobs in Austin, Texas this year alone. Initially, Tesla was projected to create 15,000 new jobs in Giga Texas over time, and that goal is still expected to be hit by them. There's a lot of expansion to be seen from Tesla, and we know that it won't be slowing down anytime soon. Next up today, Tesla just released a new updated video at their crash lab. They have posted videos like this before, but it's great insight into what Tesla is working on to make their cars safer and safer every day. Since Tesla doesn't advertise, many miss the details on how they are selling the safest cars available, so videos like this give great insight. In the video, they take you through a crash test of a pickup truck and Model Y and explain how designing for crash testing alone doesn't actually design for safety. They utilize their fleet of over a million vehicles to use fleet data and seat placement, wheel placement, seat belt placement, airbag deployment times, and much more to learn and make their vehicles safer for the real world. Many know that Tesla is collecting camera data for autopilot and full self-driving, but this is also demonstrated here to be used for improving safety well beyond the five-star rating achievement. First, they run tons of simulations and then eventually do real crash testing like the demos shown here with the Model Y. In this real-world test, the car will detect within 10 milliseconds exactly what it expects from the crash and how it should respond with airbags. In this particular test, they said it was a quote, home run, responding exactly as expected for the safest possible result. This is the type of engineering that happens at Tesla that most don't fully understand or know about, so videos like this are always great to see from them. It's amazing that Tesla is pushing into the future and utilizing advanced data from millions of miles of driving to make their cars the safest available. Not just the safest vehicles rated by the category of industry standard tests. Collecting data this way and this directly is something that no other automaker is doing from what we can tell, and it's what allows them to continually improve their cars. Just recently, in fact, Tesla pushed a new software update, with one feature being airbag system improvements. Quote, based on recent fleet data analysis, we enhanced your vehicle's restraint and airbag system's ability to detect and respond to an even wider range of real world side impact collisions. This enhancement builds upon prior superior collision protection based on regulatory and industry crash test ratings to offer the most cutting edge safety improvements available today. People always try to argue that any over the air software updates mean that a feature arrived late that should have shipped with a car, but that does not apply in this case. Tesla continues to refine and learn about real world safety in their cars as demonstrated in this video and as a result, every single Tesla on the road benefits, not just newly shipped cars. These are the kind of advancements that show why Tesla is continuing to grow and why many are confident in them being unstoppable in the years to come.
Next up today, Tesla held a big event at Giga Berlin last week that I spoke a little bit about in my last video. However, there was a lot revealed at that event that showcases where the Model Y is going to go in the future. Tesla really is just getting started, and in a few years, we're going to look at the initial Model Y made out of Fremont truly as the first version of something big. First, Tesla added a new render of Giga Berlin to their website, showcasing what that factory will look like when it's complete and in full production. For initial production, Tesla is expecting to begin no later than December, which will be great for Model Y output there. The biggest problem for Tesla to solve right now is simply being able to make enough cars. Right now, if you order a new Model Y in the United States, your estimated delivery time isn't until April, which is an extremely long time to wait for a new car. Chip supply and overall supply shortages are at play, but Tesla is selling more cars each quarter and navigating supply issues better than anyone else. If you want to see a full video about that, you can check that out linked up here or in the description below. But to help with future production, Tesla is aiming to produce one new Model Y body every 45 seconds at Giga Berlin. Quote, our team is supported by an army of robots that weld, rivet, and glue the car parts together. With highly precise and fast movements, we produce one car body every 45 seconds. In response to this, Elon Musk said it will hopefully achieve sustained cycle time of 45 seconds at 75% uptime over an average week. That's around 10,000 per week if run 24 seven. That runtime would make it so that once it's fully up and running, Giga Berlin would produce roughly 520,000 vehicles per year, significantly increasing Tesla's output. Over time though, on top of this, Tesla is aiming to produce the Model Y with their new 4680 battery cells unveiled at Battery Day. We finally got some new information on this, as well as detailed photos of the structural battery pack and the 4680 cell implementation at this Giga Berlin event. This photo showcases the first time we're seeing the battery pack with single front and single rear cast parts. The simplicity of this setup greatly improves manufacturing cost, speed, and efficiency. Then this photo shows an in-depth cutaway of what Tesla's structural battery pack will look like in the future. This is full of Tesla's 4680 battery cells, and the arrangement adds to the structure of the car, introducing its own improvements and eliminating battery modules like Tesla currently ships. More on that in a minute. One more demonstration showcased how they will be mounting the seat brackets directly onto the battery pack. By mounting the seats directly to the pack, this further simplifies the assembly process. All of these assembly and manufacturing advancements are things that Tesla has wanted to do for some time, but they can't without significantly interrupting current manufacturing. They have to keep making cars and testing of new technologies at scale can only happen at a new factory like Giga Berlin. These are all quote under the hood advancements so to speak, but Tesla demonstrated a lot more that will be exciting for customers in the future, like tons of wild paint styles for the future Model Y, and we'll get there in just a minute. Before we go any further, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Truebill. Truebill is an all-in-one finance app for busy people. The personal finance manager allows you to manage subscriptions, lower bills, monitor your credit score, and build your savings all in one place. For canceling unwanted subscriptions, Truebill safely and securely identifies recurring charges and will cancel your unwanted subscriptions for you with one easy tap. You never have to go on the phone, hunt down a cancel button or anything like that, since Truebill does that work for you. For bills, you simply upload a photo of your bill and Truebill can negotiate lower bills for you, for example with something like your internet service bill. For budgeting, you can set up easy budgets that automatically monitor spending by category and you'll get notifications when you've exceeded spending in your categories. Credit score monitoring gives you full access to your credit reports and history, alerts you to important changes that impact your score, and will offer insights on how you can improve it. Then your smart savings account allows you to choose an amount and frequency to automatically deposit into a smart savings account within the app that you can withdraw from at any time. To check out Truebill for yourself, click the link in the description below or head to truebill.com slash Ryan Shaw. So back to the Model Y and more future features unveiled at Giga Berlin. One thing that Elon Musk has talked about for some time now is paint quality and their advanced paint shop they plan to introduce there. About a year ago, he tweeted saying, Berlin will use 4680 cell with structural battery pack and front and rear single piece castings. Also a new paint system. Now we've seen all of that besides the paint, so let's talk about the paint. When talking specifically about this system, Elon said, Giga Berlin will have world's most advanced paint shop with more layers of stunning colors that subtly change with curvature. Additionally, when asked about his favorite Tesla color, he said, new deep crimson from Giga Berlin is my favorite. 
A lot of these clues have been pieced together, and it was unveiled that Elon's personal Model S in July of 2020 indeed had that deep crimson color. This color is something Tesla wants to introduce at this new paint shop in Giga Berlin, but many have wondered if all of this will just end up with Tesla making their same five colors at that factory. Initially, this may be the case, but a photo posted by a Tesla recruiter and later removed showed samples of future Tesla paints that are much more vibrant. Now at the Giga Berlin tour, two of these new colors were spotted, partially covered and hidden away on the assembly lines. This user on Twitter posted what definitely looks like the deep crimson color being produced on a new Model Y, the only car being produced at Giga Berlin for the time being. Elon said that this is his favorite color there, and Tesla appears to actually be working on it. On top of this, a much more vibrant blue was spotted on the assembly line. Here's one photo showing it from a distance, and even there you can see just how vibrant this color is with the hood open. Then a close-up photo demonstrates that this doesn't appear to just be another blue car. Something is different here with many speculating a new multi-coat blue, and others saying it's just the lighting at the factory. Those are two possible new colors that Tesla will be introducing at this new factory, but on display they had many more paint demonstrations. Each of these is a different pattern design, and while Tesla may not specifically ship these, they are showing what the new factory is capable of for paint. This demo shows another crazy pattern with purples and blues. Tesla is demonstrating a lot of painting capability, as Elon Musk has talked about from this factory, so it'll be especially interesting to see where they go from here with these options. Will all of these be available day one out of Giga Berlin? Will these crazy patterns be available by special order? Or will they be stock options plus new deep crimson available from this factory? I'm not sure, but I'll be sure to keep you posted. One of the last features demonstrated at the factory is new adaptive lighting for the headlights. Elon Musk said, quote, headlights are precision LED, so they can be bright without blinding oncoming traffic, pedestrians, and cyclists. With all of these new features being demonstrated, it's very exciting, but it always raises the question as to what this means for Tesla's made at other factories. We know that Tesla is building Giga Texas currently at the same time as this new factory, so they should share a lot of the same core technologies for cars shipped in 2022. At a certain point though, there will be a huge advantage to buying a Texas or Berlin made Model Y instead of a Fremont built one. This will be very interesting to see Tesla navigate down the line as they try to make the best cars possible with the most advanced technologies while needing to keep up with current demand. Next up today, Tesla finally expanded their full self-driving beta to more customers. Still, this beta is extremely limited, with Tesla only giving it out to those people with a safety score of 100 out of 100 and having driven over 100 miles with that score. That last part was something that Elon Musk only revealed the day that they pushed beta 10.2 to these new testers, and it's well known that the safety score they are using is far from perfect. This expansion is the first step in the right direction though, and Tesla plans to hold here to see how it goes with this large expansion compared to normal, and then eventually push this beta to those who are requesting it with lower and lower safety scores in the app. The timeline Elon has indicated is a few days, but as we've seen with every step of this process, even down to the beta button supposedly being available within 10 days back in March of this year, it always takes longer than expected, and Tesla has to be extremely careful when shipping beta self-driving features to a massive fleet of customers. In any case, this new beta was shipped to seemingly 1,000 plus 100 score customers, and it has been confirmed that unlike before, no NDA is required. This means that these beta testers can share the beta, videos of it, and all showing it in any and all situations. Tesla has no restrictions whatsoever, which is how it should be. When someone congratulated Elon Musk on his hard work here, Elon was sure to put credit where credit is due, saying, quote, just want to emphasize this is the work of hundreds of awesome engineers in both software and hardware, over 1,000 data analysts, and billions of owner miles. At the end of the day, he's leading these technologies and pushing Tesla to work on them, but he's not the one in the full self-driving trenches every single day. Reportedly, driver monitoring using the interior camera has gotten stricter with this release, requiring testers to have that camera unobstructed and notifying them quickly when they're distracted. This is good to see, especially in this phase, and is something Tesla has been criticized for in the past, only requiring steering wheel nudges. Regarding the core technology of this beta, Elon Musk confirmed that all cars with the beta are running pure vision, using only the cameras and ignoring any radar data if your car still has a radar sensor. To this, Elon Musk responded, quote, vision became so good that radar actually reduced SNR, so radar was turned off. Humans drive with eyes and biological neural nets, so it makes sense that cameras and silicon neural nets are only way to achieve generalized solution to self-driving.
This is Tesla's core concept with self-driving and how they plan to accomplish it, which is much different than the approach of any other automaker. Over time, it should work out for the best, but it takes a lot of time and a lot of neural network training to get there, which is why this rollout continues to take longer than anyone at Tesla has seemed to expect. Next up, I was talking earlier about Tesla's new 4680 battery cells demonstrated at Giga Berlin. This is their most exciting battery innovation, but it's still upcoming. For the time being, they are still using 2170 cells and the Model S and X have a redesigned battery pack that still uses 18650 cells. A new image of this battery pack appeared online showing five large modules, and this is what powers Tesla's latest and most advanced car. The pack itself reduces the number of modules compared to previous versions of Model S's and should result in fewer parts and lower production cost. This is an improvement, but ultimately Tesla wants to get to the point where they only have two or three form factors for cells with the different chemistries they are planning. This means that the brand new Plaid Model S ironically may just be the last Tesla with these 18650 cells as they build up battery factories and ultimately shift to 4680 cells in the next few years. This means that the Plaid Model S in the future could get even better performance and more range, probably in line with what Tesla temporarily was going to offer, the Plaid Plus Model S. Last up today, Tesla's earnings call has been announced for October 20th, where they will reveal how their financials worked out over the past quarter as they beat delivery estimates. Elon Musk at the last earnings call shared that he might not be at future earnings calls, and he just spoke at Tesla's shareholder meeting, so it's unclear whether he will be on this call or not. Overall, him not being there is a good sign because his time is better spent in other places at the company. That's all the latest Tesla news for today, so in the meantime, if you want to check out the latest on a new, cheaper Model Y variant that could be coming soon, you can check out that video linked up here or in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.